Good morning guys, as you can tell today's video is going to be another acne vlog as well as my two week update on Accutane. I am starting today's vlog with no makeup so you guys can kind of see what my skin is looking like. Obviously it's a little too soon to see any like drastic improvements or anything like that but I definitely have been noticing some changes in my skin but I'll get to that a little bit later in the vlog. I want to talk about like side effects and what I've been noticing so far. I do have to put on makeup in a little bit because I'm going to be filming a few videos today and doing some other stuff so yeah I thought I would start off just bare face so you guys can see what everything is looking like. Before we get into some other stuff, I want to give you guys the most gigantic thank you for all of your support and kindness on my last vlog. Honestly, I was so overwhelmed by all of the love and support. I was reading through the comments and honestly I was crying because I was just like, what have I done to deserve such like kindness? And I was just, I was honestly so overwhelmed. I couldn't believe it. So thank you guys so much, just from the bottom of my heart, seriously. All of your comments mean the world to me and the fact that so many of you guys are supporting me. And quite a few of you guys are starting Accutane at the exact same time as me, which is awesome. I don't know why my hand's shaking, sorry. I got a ton of comments on that video and I still need to find time to just like go through and respond to all of them. But just know that even if I haven't responded to them yet, I have read every single one of them and I appreciate them all so much. I really want you guys to know how much I appreciate each and every single one of you. I really do just consider you guys my friends, like you guys aren't just subscribers to me, and all of the support on that video just really made me feel so amazing. I've definitely gotten more comfortable being on camera with no makeup on, but it's still hard for me, and all of your kind words just mean the world to me. I just, I know I'm repeating myself, but I really want you guys to understand how much it really truly means to me. So yeah, that was my sappy moment for today's vlog. I can't promise it'll be the last, but anyways, I wanted to address a couple of things. First one is that I feel like I kind of misspoke in my last vlog about saying I had a low dosage because I realized I don't really know what's considered a lower dosage for Accutane. My dermatologist may have said my dosage was lower, but I can't really remember. I think I was just kind of thinking in my mind that because it's every second day that that automatically makes it a lower dosage. But for those of you who are wondering, I am taking 40 milligrams every second day. I did a little bit of research on it and from what I could kind of gather, 40 milligrams is kind of like average. It's not really low or high but like I said I don't really know. So yeah I just kind of wanted to clear that up in case I wasn't being correct on that I guess. Um, and I am doing 40 milligrams for the first three months. I was able to fill the first three months of my prescription all at once. And I don't know, maybe my dosage will increase after that. I don't really know what the plan is yet, but that is what I am taking so far. I thought I would quickly show you guys what it actually looks like. I can't show you guys the front of this little kind of booklet because it has my information on it, but it comes with like a little pamphlet on like side effects and everything. And this is what it actually looks like. So it comes in like a little book that flips open. I do have my full three month kind of supply. So I do have two of these. But as you can see, if my camera will focus, it says 40 milligrams on each one and then next to each one there's a little like do not get pregnant kind of symbol. And the pills are kind of just like a light yellow kind of color. And I also wanted to show you guys what I'm doing because I am taking a pill every second day like I said. And I'm totally paranoid that one day I'm going to be like just tired and I'm going to forget if I've like taken my pill the day before or whatever. So what I did... Sorry, I just got interrupted, the doorbell just rang, but like I was saying, I'm just paranoid that I'm going to like forget if I took one, so on the calendar, I just put a little A on every second day on the days that I'm supposed to be taking them. So today's the 22nd, so I've officially been on it for two weeks, and I just check it off, obviously, as I take them. The ferret calendar on my fridge, because I'm normal. This gives me like pretty little liars vibes. <laughs> okay, so I want to take a minute here to talk to you guys a little bit about what kind of like side effects and like changes I've been seeing so far. It didn't take too long for me to see some differences in my skin. It took about a full week. So for those of you who may not be very familiar with Accutane, for the first like two to three weeks, typically your skin actually goes through a purging stage so your skin gets worse before it gets better so that might be why my skin looks a little bit worse to some of you guys because I have been breaking out a little bit so basically after like exactly one week I woke up and my skin was the oiliest it has ever been now keep in mind I have very oily skin as is so for me to say the oiliest it has ever been it was like intense my skin was so insanely oily I woke up and my skin was honestly just like an oil slick and like I was doing something that day so I put on makeup and after I had my makeup on for about like three to four hours my makeup was just like melting off and I had to wash my face because it was just gross yeah that was kind of surprising because like the biggest side effect from Accutane is like extreme dryness but I guess that makes sense because that's part of the purging stage it's kind of your sebaceous glands just kind of like purging out all the excess oil I assume so then the day after that I woke up and my skin was like 
extremely red and kind of irritated. The best way I can describe it is that it was like having a mild sunburn, like when your skin's just kind of like tender and irritated. It's a little bit itchy as well. And it was really interesting, like if my skin was like itchy in one spot, even if I just like really lightly, like super lightly scratch it, it would like burn for like 10 minutes afterwards. So that was really weird. And I was kind of freaked out about that, but then I remembered reading that that's a really common side effect in the purging stages. In some of the paperwork they gave me, it specifically said your skin might feel like hot and red and irritated in the first couple weeks. That's pretty much subsided now. My skin does still kind of have that kind of like sunburny feeling occasionally and I am still red but I'm always quite red and on that day as well I started noticing some just like small whiteheads popping up like breakouts that don't really have any kind of redness to them it's just like the little tiny whitehead that might sound gross to some people but I'm just being real with you guys and telling you guys what I'm actually experiencing and then after that I kind of feel like I started to notice like the real purging I woke up with like a really really huge cyst right here which is just kind of going away now it's like a little bit flaky and a little bit red still but it was like marble sized cyst and I also got a couple pretty large breakouts they weren't really like cysts but just really big kind of like whitehead breakouts right here and just like the odd little breakout in here but those were kind of like the worst of it I feel I don't know maybe my skin is going to continue to purge a little bit I'm not really sure also I started to notice just on my forehead and on my nose I was getting very flaky so I was just doing some really gentle exfoliation to help clear that up and yeah just in the past few days my lips have started to get a little bit drier like nothing too crazy I know the worst is still yet to come for my lips Aside from that though, I feel like the general condition of my skin is starting to improve. Like the areas where I don't have any breakouts or scarring and like hyperpigmentation are quite smooth and quite clear. I did just wash my face so my skin's still quite pink. Yeah, I think that is most of the kind of changes I've started to notice so far. If I think of anything else that I've left out, I will be vlogging throughout the day so I will update you guys. I don't have like an appointment or anything like that going on today. So I'm probably just mostly going to be vlogging at home, but we will see. Like I said though, I am going to be doing a ton of filming today, so I should probably go ahead and go start doing my makeup and everything. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys what everything is looking like makeup free at the moment, but I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So I've got my makeup on now. I am testing out a new foundation today. So I don't know what it looks like in natural light. Anyways, I'm just going to go check the mail. I'm like squinting like crazy because it's super bright out and I honestly can't see anything. <laughs> but I thought I would take you guys with me just to check the mail. I'm just going to the end of my street because it's probably the most exciting thing I'm going to do today. I wanted to ask if you guys have mailboxes like this in other places in the world. This is just like down the street from my house. And this is just where all of our mail comes to. I don't know if you guys have that in other places. I just stopped filming because this guy like pulled up in his van to the corner and I was still like really far away from the corner but he like stopped and was like gesturing at me like like what are you doing are you gonna cross even though I was like still so far away so I had to stop filming because I felt super awkward I'm trying to carry all my mail and I'm struggling I like can't even open the door so anyways before that awkwardness happened I was about to tell you guys that I got my blood work done of course in my last vlog I mentioned that I'm really afraid of needles so I wanted to tell you guys how it went it actually ended up going really well. I also had to give a urine sample as well, which no one actually told me at the dermatology clinic, but it's fine, it's no big deal. It's not like I'm afraid of peeing in a cup. But when I went, it was like right before the clinic was about to close. It was like half an hour before they were closing. And the guy who like took my blood and everything was really brusque. But I think that kind of actually worked out because he was just like very fast. Honestly, didn't even have time to like get nervous or anything like that. He was like, sit down arm out, like make a fist, just like took the vials of blood like really fast. But he was just like, it was done. He was like already like filling out my like urine sample cup or whatever. So it ended up being okay. I did get a little bit lightheaded after, but it really wasn't that bad. So maybe I'll just always go like when they're about to close. See, I am testing out a mystery foundation today. I decided I'm not going to tell you guys what foundation I'm trying in this vlog. It's not the Makeup Forever HD Stick or the Kat Von D foundation. It's one I haven't mentioned before. And my next one is going to be the HD Stick. That should probably actually be the next video that goes up after this. And then the one I'm trying out today will be the one after that so it'll probably go up like sometime in the first week of April or so. so yeah let me know what you think of how it looks and if you have any guesses to what it is comment down below and let me know I just finished filming made a mess this actually isn't too bad usually it's like 10 times worse ignore the ferret toys everywhere also <laughs> so I just finished up filming my brother got me coffee because he's an angel before this past weekend I honestly haven't had coffee in like months and I get it with soy I know someone's going to comment and be like the milk in your coffee is gonna make you break out or something, but I don't know. I don't drink coffee a lot, but I just needed it today. I got a vanilla soy latte. That's pretty much what I always get from Starbucks when I go. 
Oh, also, speaking about comments, I saw like tons and tons of you guys recommending that I use CeraVe skincare on my last acne vlog and saying it's like a better alternative to Cetaphil. So I am going to keep that in mind. I already bought the Cetaphil, so I'm going to try it and like see how it goes. If my skin gets drier and I feel like I need something more hydrating and Cetaphil is just too basic, I'm definitely going to try CeraVe. So I definitely saw all your guys' comments about it. You guys recommended it like crazy. I thought I would also just show you guys a few more products that I got really quickly because I went shopping yesterday my vanity is such a mess I literally just cleaned it this morning and after filming it's just like a disaster but anyways uh, one thing I got was the Caudalie grape water I've had this in the past and I really love it this is just 100% grape water it's just like an aerosol spray and this is just a really great product in general if you have really sensitive skin it's a really great thing to have on hand especially if you have like allergic reactions ever because you can like douse your face in this and it's so immediately soothing and calming and it's like $19 and you get 200 mil. It seriously lasts forever. You can use it like a toner or just like throughout the day if you aren't wearing makeup. I also repurchased one of my old favorites from Lush. This is the Dream Wash Shower Smoothie. The shower smoothies are like a really creamy, hydrating body wash. And this one is meant to go with their, um, their Dream Cream Lotion, which is meant for eczema. So this has, what does it have? It says aloe vera aloe vera, calamine, lavender. It has a bunch of really like soothing ingredients. This is what it looks like, as you can see, it's like really thick and creamy and you just use it like a shower gel. It's a really great product though. I used to use it all the time when I worked for Lush. Once again, just good if you have sensitive skin or if you have like sunburn or even like mosquito bites, this is a really good product to have in the summer too. It's just good stuff. And I also got this product from Lush, if I can get this out of the bag one-handed. This is a new product and I thought it was so interesting. It's like a little, like a lollipop. But it is called the Golden Handshake. It's probably not going to focus. That's not focusing, but it's called the Golden Handshake Hot Hand Mask. It's like a little solid bar of oils that you like melt in water and then you soak your hands in it. And it's meant to just be like a hand treatment. I already have like really dry hands all the time. So I just thought that would be nice to try out. I know my skin's basically only going to get drier from here. I opened it up so you guys can kind of see it. It's like a little gold glittery hand. There's only glitter on the top though, but it's just like a solid mixture of like different butters and oils. So I figured it would be really nice. So it is quite a bit later on now and I think I pretty much updated on everything I wanted to update on. You can definitely tell my skin is getting less and less oily and balancing out by how my makeup looks at the end of the day. Like I'm barely shiny at all in my t-zone there's still a little bit of oil but it's very minimal that's such a weird change to get used to and I'm sure pretty much all people who go on Accutane experience this because generally people who do have acne have oily skin so to go from being very oily to very dry is just going to be so bizarre one last thing i wanted to mention was the price of accutane i got a comment on my last video asking about it and i already responded to the comment but i thought i would mention it here too i'm comfortable talking about it like i don't mind talking about the price of it so i figure why not because it might help some of you guys out now I am Canadian and I don't have any current healthcare coverage and my Accutane was $106 for the three months. So from what I've heard, that's kind of like a really good the deal on it because from what I've heard and like read, it can be pretty expensive in the States, if you, especially if you don't have any health insurance there. And I do have like name brand Accutane. My dermatologist said there's like different versions and like generic brands, but I do have just like regular Accutane. And so yeah, that's how much it costs. I'm extremely grateful. And of course, since I am Canadian, all of my appointments and everything are totally free so very very grateful for that see I think that's going to be it for today's vlog I'm sorry if today's vlog wasn't super like entertaining or anything there wasn't a lot going on it was mostly just to sit down and update you guys on what's happening with my skin because a lot of you guys have been asking for an update I am going to be continue doing continuing doing these vlogs for the entire time that I'm on Accutane at least that's what I'm planning as of now please continue to leave comments down below leave me product recommendations any tips any advice you can give me if you've taken Accutane or on Accutane currently and like I said I know a lot of you guys are starting it with me at the same time so please keep me updated if you are I would really appreciate it I don't know how often I'm going to be doing these vlogs I really only want to do them when I have something substantial to update on I'm probably going to try and do them at least once a month hopefully more frequently though but I'll see how it goes of course I don't really know what to expect from here on out but yeah I think that's going to be it for today's vlog if you are excited to see this journey with me please give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out and if you're new to my channel hit subscribe down below and yeah I think that's going to be it I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys